On the breakfast, federal government says President Mohamed Buhari will sign the Electoral Amendment Bill into law on Friday. And that gives a lot of Nigerians some hope. Zamfara Deputy Governor allegedly impeached because he did not defect from the People's Democratic Party to the Aggressives Congress, alongside Governor Beto Bello Matawale. And as usual, we'll also be taking a look through the national dailies and have a guess, make sense of all of the big stories. A very good morning to you. Welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa on what is a beautiful Thursday morning. I'm Kofi Bartels. I am Messi Bopoiski to be back in your screen this beautiful morning. All right, uh, lots in store for you on The Breakfast today. Um, we have uh, a lot of legal issues to look at, a uh, majority of legal issues to look at, looking at the um, and constitutional issues, Electoral Act Amendment Bill reworked, uh, passed back to President Buhari. Um, we hear that um, that bill might be fine, signed on Friday, uh, not just on Friday, but we hear it might be signed by noon uh, on Friday. So there's a time being put to it by sources in the presidency. We'll talk about that. And also we'll be looking at um, what's been happening, like we said, in Zamfara State. And also, very importantly, the role of youth in the elections and democracy and politics in the country. Bumper package ahead for you. But of course, our trending segment as usual. Well, so we set up with the top trending this morning and we're looking at that uh, usually. Uh, we look at issues that are generating conversation across the board. Now, the, the president or the presidency had said that, uh, you know, Nigerians would probably not be able to transport themselves from Lagos to the Oyo State capital, but not for the uh, railway project that has been put together by the administration of uh, Buhari. That's the APC administration. And that is a serious conversation that's ongoing. And, and you know, in the words that's been put out, uh, Lagos Ibadan Railway Road Project, Nigerians will be trekking not for Buhari. And so people are talking about it. Uh, people are reacting. And up until this moment, uh, that has not, you know, really stopped. But to even look at the case, uh, there's been several arguments around in this particular issue, you know, the Lagos Ibadan project. And some people will say the argument, first of all, started with the APC and the PDP as to who is uh, responsible for all of this project. Uh, is it the APC government or is it the PDP government? But the truth is, government is a continuum. It doesn't really necessarily matter, I mean, who starts it. So that's, what, that's one of the characteristics of government. We're taught that, you know, at the elementary level of government. <laughs> Kofi is smiling. <laughs> but that's the truth. You know, it's a continuum, so it doesn't really matter who started it. If Kofi started it, Messi finished it, it's great. Or at the end of the day, we're talking about a government as a whole. And so that's not even an issue. But um, some other persons are saying that... Uh, how could we be making this statement? But to look at it, you know, in this real sense, I, I feel that uh, it's really, really sad. Because over time, we seem to be applauding things that should come to us naturally. I mean, that should not be a favor. It's just natural. Government is there to provide basic amenities, infrastructure, and ensure that life is comfortable for Nigerians. But what do you think about it? Um, well, you know, it's... Um, the, the president is, uh, you know basically trying to to you know tell the world and tell people that there was a bad situation between Lagos and Ibadan Express on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway and that um, uh, the road was really not there you know it's what he's saying his words the road was really not there and you know if he says people would have been trekking because the road was just not there the rails were just not there and there was so much insecurity and maybe he's, it might be uh, an exaggeration of, of the facts uh, because you can't trek from Lagos to Ibadan. I don't know if, if, is it trekkable? But you've had persons who have actually trekked to, you know, salute the president. The no, no, no. I'm talking about just people who want to travel from Lagos to Ibadan. I don't know if it's a trekkable distance. It's not, um, but I it's possible. I haven't been, you know, to Ibadan via Lagos. I've been to Ibadan via other, another route. But, but, but um, I think maybe it's an exaggeration for the president to say that, uh, you know, 
Nigerians would have been trekking if the rails were not there. But I think maybe we shouldn't lose the point he's trying to make. You know, politicians say these things from time to time. There are so many fish to fry, you know, there's so many things to, to look at in the country. So the 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 quicker Nigerians just realize that okay, this is just a, a statement, political statement, just to say, okay, we've done the road, we've done the rail and it's helping people move, I think the better for, for, for the country. Um, you know, every administration will always blow its trumpet. You know, and if you look at the rail sector, it's it's a trumpet to be blown in in the country as far as uh, this administration. It's one of their trumpets to blow, actually. They may not have performed as as credible as well in other sectors like the economy, you know, other sectors like um, uh, power supply, all right, even the petroleum, you know, downstream uh, and even upstream, you know. But when you look at rails, when you look at rails, that is a shining light as far as the Buhari administration is concerned. That is where they can. So, I mean, if you don't blow your trumpet, who will blow it for you? <laughs> I really don't know why I'm <laughs> just know? beaming with a lot of yeah, smiles. No, no. So, so I, I, think, I think whilst the president may have exaggerated, you know, when he said that um, people would have been trekking, this is what he said, quote, the people from the southwest can tell better because between Lagos and Ibado, uh, by now, if we hadn't done what we did, People would have been trekking because the road was not there, the rail was not there, and there was no, so much insecurity. Um, um, so, like I said, it's an exaggeration. But indeed, that Lagos Sibana Express, we've been hearing of it since we were kids. You understand? Since we've been hearing of it. Now, whilst the rails have been done, has the road been done? That's another question to ask. What's the state of the Lagos Sibana Express way? Because are you just going to say we've done the rails, which is fantastic. But what about the roads? Because you have to have a multi, multi or uh, a variety of, um, uh, what do you call it, of, um, of transportation modes. You know, look at what happened in Lagos State uh, some days ago where you have, I think, a lag ride, you know, um, if not hundreds, maybe hundreds of blue vehicles on the road of Lagos State, a uh, partnership between Lagos State government and a private um, a Chinese car, car company. You know, some people were asking, okay, do we need more cars, you know, on the roads? The traffic in Lagos is so much. Um, people are already into, you know, Bolt and Uber and Taxify and all these things. Okay. Do we need more cars? Shouldn't the government be looking at diversifying, making sure they focus on the rail and making sure that they fix roads, making sure that they make transition better and also have more BRT buses, you know, have more metro buses and then in improve water transportation, you know. Do we need more? So that diversity is, is very important. And I think um, the president should also tell us about the roads. So, so I totally understand where you're coming from. But let's also look at it from this angle that uh, the issue of infrastructure. Now, when we decided that we're going to hand over a will and submit ourselves to government, so it's called a social contract, we'll pay our taxes, we'll be law-abiding citizens, and in turn, government will do X, Y, Z. It includes provision of you know, basic infrastructure and the real, real, uh, you know, the railway infrastructure is not, you know, ruled out of it. So for a, a lot of Nigerians and for me, the concern is, it's like having a family, okay? So I'm going to digress a, a bit and then come back to where I'm saying. No, it's like having a family. So Kofi, is like you having a family okay, now. Okay, okay. And then you have a kid or you have children. It is your responsibility fundamentally that you provide for them the basic things, food, shelter, clothing, and all of that. There's no need to brag about it. There's no need to come out and say, oh, if, if not for me, as your father, you, you won't be alive. You won't be eating. Mm. You, 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 won't, you won't go to school. What is that? By nature, by, by the fact that you are the father of oh, these children, oh, it comes naturally. So, so this is not a favor. It. So if ah. we have the railway project, mm -hmm. it is not a favor to Nigerians. Mm -hmm. The fact that we, ha in a d d democratic dispensation, this thing should come to us. Nigerians are paying their taxes. I mean, at this point in time, we're talking about the real project. The world has moved away from us. We're talking about it in 2022, 2021. People have moved away. So it's not a favor. But this is what happened. Because across board, we found that when government actually embarked on several projects in different states, I mean, when I was in the south, you know, south, south region, southeast, you definitely see the government come and say, okay, so they, they constructed a road and, oh, we have to applaud for the government. Oh, the road has been constructed. Why? It's just basic. It's natural. It should come to you. And it shouldn't be something. But if you also want to look at it as well, on the other hand, a lot of people have also argued, which is actually true, there was a fact check, and if you look at it, mm -hmm. uh, 2018, uh, August 28, in 2012, 
that was when you know this real project the lagos ibadan project was actually approved and that has been fact checked uh and that was during the administration of uh good lucky billy jonathan so of course it's the pdp so but however like i always say it doesn't this really matter who started it it doesn't matter who started it mm -hmm. whether it's the apc or is the pdp yeah, it's the truth is no the, the truth is it's 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 a project is ongoing <laughs> Right? It's a project that has started. So if you have a government started, if you started something and I completed, it's fine. Because that's what government is about. It's a continuum. And no one should begin to begin to, I mean, brag about it. I think that the reason why that's been talked about is the fact that, oh, we're now saying it sounds like you're doing Nigerians a favor. No, not a favor. That should come naturally because we're in the democratic dispensation. These are taxpayers. People are paying their taxes. And what should we expect? Uh, the law of social contract, I mean, the social contract, would expect that we give our will and in turn government would do X, Y, Z. And so that's it. But also, on the other hand, you mentioned the issue of how safe the roads are, right? And even prior to this, if you want to even look at it before the real project or the railway, uh, you know, the railway system actually started for Lagos Ibadan, people had other means of, you know, moving away. A lot of people also argue that, you know, right now the insecurity on the roads, I mean, the insecurity with the system is more. People had a means of which was even cheaper. Yeah. I mean, or affordable if that's the word you use. Because you talk about moving from Lagos to Ibadan, it should be about 1,500. But right now, you're looking at the rail at 3,500 and what have you. And so some people say, okay, speed and all of that. So necessarily, all of this is that, should we be um, sounding like we're, we're doing Nigerians' favor when uh, you, know, you, you do what you should do? It's natural, you should come to the people. And that's where you know, that particular argument comes from. But however, that's a good thing. Interesting. Well, well, for the um, the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, um, the managing director of the Nigerian uh, Sovereign Investment Authority, he said, you know, earlier this this year that um, uh, the expressway will be completed before the end of 2022. Um, that was, um, uh, you know, on Thursday. I actually, stated this during a panel session. So, before the end of 2022, looking at completing that expressway and. Um, it's 77.78 percent complete. This was um, as far back as January, yeah, January 27. This was when he said this. It was 77.78 um, uh, percent complete. What is left for the expressway uh, is the big flyovers that need to be done in certain parts of the road. So the road has been basically done, you know, to uh, almost a complete complete stage of phase, but need some flyovers there. And um, so, so it's good to see that this modes of transition are. Are, are there for Lagos, um, people of Lagos and Ibadan. It will make you know business easier. But the thing is, is mercy. Yes, government is not expected to be blowing. You know, to be saying, <laughs> oh, I gave you this. I, that's what they're expected to do. Mm -hmm. And but but in in politics, you have to sell yourself. You have to say, this is what we have done. Don't don't sound condescending. Don't sound like you are uh, doing the people a favor. You know. But there, there's a very little way to say it and not sound like you did the people a favor. You understand. So. It's just politics. You sell yourself. You try to, you know, sell your achievements. You try to sell your, your accomplishments, what you've done, your promises that you fulfilled. Because there are a lot of people who say you didn't do that, you didn't do this, and there's a there's a number of things the president hasn't done. You know, security is one of them. That was a high hope. Corruption, another one. You know, with all the security. cases left on the center. So, um, when you're grasping for something to sell to the people, you you know, you can't blame politicians. And you should also, you but, know, but, look but, at the but language. I, but I think that the, the the government has done well, especially in the rail sector. Mm. Um, though I think that the rail line should we should have uh, a southern coastal line. That that is very important. Um, you know, some of the lines we have. You know where they lead to. You ask yourself, okay, what about the southern southern coastal rail line? That's very important as well for business, really for business. It's very important all the way from Calabar, you know, the the westernmost part of the south southern coastal rail line, to the you know the easternmost north south east here to the west. You know, you need to have that. It's very important. Well, um, as much as we would not take out the fact that, you know, there's continuity in government and that's what government should be. So uh, we shouldn't be about, you know, blowing that particular trumpet. So whatever it is, is a great we, thing. We, we, but I think we, that we the can reason go on and on about this. I'm just telling you how, you know, politics works. No, I, no, you know, I totally, I totally understand. Yeah. But, but the reason that why the, the people are talking now, 
you all, I mean, you also need to understand the reason why the people are talking. Mm. Because first of all, it's okay to say, okay, we've oh, yeah, been I able do. to I achieve do. X, Y, Z. Mm. But maybe the language has been put in. You can't tell us that because it sounds like you're doing us a favor. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely, me, definitely. Nigerians that's really why I said it was exaggerated. But, but before now, how mm. were there? Because people, there was still movement before the railway system. Yeah. And if we look at it, yeah. we're even, I mean, we're, we're long overdue for all of this. The world has moved away. If we say we're a giant of Africa Absolutely. at this point in time, Absolutely. we even want to look at the railway. If we want yeah. to look at the system, the real project that we have right now, I mean, is it up to, you know, international yeah, that, 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 that's, that's, that's true. We've that's also true. had security you know. concerns. You, you've had, a, you know, several reports where there were attacks. I mean, there was a time where we bought it and then we were supposed to be in it, and something happened because it was an inspection. I was actually on that particular report. And I remember that it wasn't really like you had the bandits coming out, but it was an eminent threat. And the fact that we had security personnel because of the people we had in, you know, on board, you had senators uh, and what have you. But we had young lads and teenage, you know, children being children, and whatever you want to say, which was an eminent trend. And you, but, but, you, you know, but, which was but, but, eminent. But, but, and like, you had like, throwing like, stones and whatever yeah, you. Yeah. But like I, like I said, Mercy, you know, security is, is a concern. I already said that. Um, economy is a concern, for instance. But it doesn't take away the fact that the roads are built. The rail lines are there. And, and that's on and that's, credit. That's, he you ne know, you, he, ne he never, said, he never said there's security. He just said the rail lines are there and the roads are there. No, which, which is eminent. I mean, if you want to so, look at it, that's, that's a given. The rail lines are there. But prior to the rail lines, it is because of how this information has been put. And a lot of people have questioned, it's, it's, you know, It's about how, security. No, a lot of people have actually questioned how, you know, this information comes. Because it comes, uh, you know, it's been made to look like, oh, this is a lot of favor to Nigerians. And that's why... Uh, you have to begin to check the facts and say, okay, if you're now beginning to take credit, because this has been a serious argument with the APC and the PDP, who's responsible for the real project, the legacy border, to be very specific. And looking at the facts, because there's been fact-checked, double fact-checked, you would or you would want to go check that as well. Okay, okay. So uh, it, it uh, is let me get, let me get so you right. You're, you're saying the, the PDP approved the project. No, so yes, of course. You want to go down that road? I, I, <laughs> you said the PDP approved the project. No, the project so started the, the, in 2012, and yeah. who, who was who was president in 2012? Um, I mean, um, I think it was Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. So good. Yes, so 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 so, uh, like I said, um, um, I think I think it's been said in some point somewhere, you know, credit has been given. Um, I, I'm sure you check the archives to see that to the former president. I'm just saying that, um. All politicians to do this, even if someone starts a project or signs something, you know, when you come on board and you see, okay, this thing is not really gone far, and you begin to do it and you complete it, you give yourself the credit, you know. And of course, it now behoves on the Dr. Jonathan, you know, who, by the way, was um, has been on everybody's lips, a lot of people's lips yesterday with GJ's coming. It now behoves on him to say, I started it. You understand? I started. These are politicians. This is what they do. No, no, I totally so understand. But you also need so, to understand so, where this is coming from. I mean, at, like least I started, know, at least we know. We when, know the when, truth. When you that's, wake that's, up and tell your I, child I, I that. I think that's what matters. We know, we know who started it. So, no, but that's not it. The reason why Nigerians are reacting, because we're looking at the reaction that's being cut across. Mm. But you need to see mm. the comment. Mm. It's like Kofi waking up to say, yeah, you're yeah, telling your yeah, son that the reason you are alive today is because I, your father, gave you life and gave you education and gave so, you so all now, of that, so now, so now, which is basic. What can you say? Now, what do we say? We now say, no, we know that you start, you completed it, but... We're but, saying yes. But it was you, started by someone. It was signed. Okay, let's put the word signed. It was signed by someone, approved by someone. You came and then you did it. We you know. completed the, the process we, we know. started. Then also, okay, completed. Then also, you can say, well, we were not trekking before you came. And full stop. <laughs> What I mean, well, you know, I mean if I were a politician, I would sell myself. I yeah. would tell people what I've done. So now that you need to, was not maybe there. the presidency needs to look for, uh, you know, another you peer. Know. Uh, because when you sound this way to I'm, Nigerians I'm, and yeah, say that yeah. uh, the Legacy Battle Project sa saved people from trekking, then that's a lot. Why do you, why do you have to... I, I, all, I've already really said that was that an exaggeration. I already said that. No, I mean, you know, there's some kind of... Well, but let's let, leave it. You know, we mustn't necessarily agree yeah, on this. But I, 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 I think it's But you understand where I'm coming from. And well, I understand I, I where do, you're coming from. I do, from. certainly, uh, certainly. Which is great. But we need to well, move away we right now. <laughs> because I and Kofi would oh never, just never be on the same page. And we're not expected to be on the same page, by the way. Well, we're on the same page in some things, you know. 
<laughs> in interesting. We'll talk about that off air. Well, uh, that's the much we can take on Top Trending. We'll definitely return tomorrow with more interesting uh, issues generating conversation across different spaces. In the meantime, let's uh, take this break. And when we return, we'll be looking at the national dailies. So of course, we have an analyst join the conversation uh, to help us analyze some of the big stories. On a national dailies, please stay tuned. We'll be right back.